I'm not going to throw away the feeling of greatness. I know. I know. Holy shit, yeah. I'd be crazy. I know. You've never, that's, that's amazing. You've never, like other guys going to slumps, you've oh, never slumped. Never won in my life. Yeah. Not for hitting the ball. No. Never. It's just I'm been all, simple with you. You've never gotten caught up in swing thoughts. No. I've always hit it good and I believe in my way. Mm -hmm. I did it my way. The future starts right now. So when you look at these guys right now, like Tiger now, what are they just trying to hit the ball far? What's oh, what they getting? I don't know what they're trying to do. It's just ridiculous. Trying to do something their body won't let them do. Mm -hmm. That's what gets me. They don't let their body memorize their swing. Mm -hmm. they're, doing, they're, trying, they're going against the feelings in their body. Mm -hmm. That's, let your body memorize your swing. Why is there such an emphasis on power these days? Because of one guy. Tiger. Yeah. Sure, that's all. And, but the, they can't do it. They're dreaming. But there have always been long hitters. When you were coming up, there were guys like, you know, Demerit and Jimmy Thompson and Sneed was pretty long. But now it's just all anybody you see kids, all they're doing is hitting the ball long. Yeah, but here's the first guy winning. Mm -hmm. See, those guys weren't winning. Here's the first long hitter winning, hitting it far. Mm -hmm. So now they figure, yeah. holy gee, I got to do that. And they're wrecking their swings. But maybe it was better for a guy like you to grow up in a time where the emphasis wasn't on length. I mean, it was on kind of hitting the ball accurately and purity, that's wasn't right, it? That's right, that's right. Swing within yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't swing, they're swinging outside themselves now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's work. It's work now. In our day, it wasn't. It was purity of technique. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's pure. <laughs> <laughs> that's pure. Is that pure? <laughs> that was a bad line. Is that pure? I'll lower. Upper just turns, lower slides. Oh, yeah. Watch this for purity. So the slide keeps it down the line longer, right? Couldn't Right. That's just the opposite of what everybody's teaching now. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. That's what I can't understand. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I can't understand. Yeah. No wonder there's no good strikers. Mm hmm. The world's upside down. Mm hmm. People are upside down. Until you hit a golf ball. Mm hmm. Pure and straight and simple. Mm -hmm. They don't know how to. <laughs> 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 hit it 50 yards for a Do you really? I don't know what they say. Yeah. Oh, simple. Now, can't hit it off line if I want it. I can't hit it off line if I want it. Oh, what one arm's at? Four. Huh. Hit it wherever I want. I can't hit it off line. No hook or no slice. No hands at all, just legs and chest. Keep the hands passive. How do you do that? How do you keep, keep them? Soft. Just yeah, keep them soft. soft. Drive with my left, my left leg. Left knee. Yep. That's pretty pure there. You never take a dip. Just comb the grass. You'll never see a dip. Because you come in shallow, right? Oh, do I ever? Watch this. Is that pure? <laughs> Four. Hmm. No moving parts. I got no moving that's parts. That's good. Put a club down for him so he knows where he's aiming. Right there. Good. Oh, He'll hit it right where you tell him to. Oh, heck. <laughs> heck. Looks like yourself. Ten years ago it was the same. Oh, yeah. So simple. Yeah, that is. Good. What do you think the most important thing in the swing is? Tempo. Tempo. And stay balanced. Balance and tempo. And, and uh, don't fight it. Mm -hmm. Never fight your alignments like Newton said. Keep it natural. Mm -hmm. As natural as can be what? I'll keep this very natural. Yeah, that Nothing was. fighting. Why do you extend so much this way? I've always wondered. Keeps the club on line. The ball can't get off line. In other words, you don't believe in letting it turn to the left? Oh, not a drop. Huh. The right hand never goes over my left. Mm -hmm. Always. Trevino-like. Mm -hmm. I had this before you ever heard of him. Watch. 
Yeah, Never go left as long as you live. Never go left. Can't. And that's the way to play, really, isn't it? Oh, I sure. Mm -hmm. You only can say one thing to a hook. Sit down, sit down. <laughs> <laughs> that's all you can say to a hook. <laughs> sit down, you mother. Watch. Were you accurate in everything? Like, I heard a story once that in baseball you were a great singles hitter. Yeah, oh, yeah, I could hit whatever field I wanted to. Where did you play baseball? Just in Kitchener here at schools and mm -hmm. band and midget and juvenile. Oh, yeah, I, could, I couldn't hit it far, but I could place it. I could always get my single. Would you think about where you were going to place it yeah. before the pitch oh, came? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I was good at horseshoes, I could throw ringers a lot, stuff like that. Yeah. Anything with high high hand body coordination, I was pretty good at. Bowling, snooker? Oh yeah, I had a drop kick with my street shoes on 30 yards, or back then, 30 yards, I could drop kick <laughs> out of my hands. Mm -hmm. Let's go drop, hit the ground and kick at the same mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Plunk. <laughs> yeah, I was good at that. Yeah. But, no, the game, game is just changing so much. And not, not for the better. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. Well, let's go back to those early days and think about Kitchener and thinking about growing up here and what the, you know, how it was here for a kid to just grow up and get involved in golf. What was it like for you in Kitchener? I mean, it was, it was a good atmosphere. More relaxing yeah. than the guys from Toronto. Mm -hmm. When we played tournaments, we were we came more relaxed. Kessering, Cowan, Plumsky, Rakoff, Rodney, Hildebrecht, Maui's, all us guys from here, right here, this club right here. And, uh, we liked each other more. We just get four guys in the car and we're yelling and going down the highway and windows are down and when we go to a tournament and then the whole, when we pull in the park lot, the whole place shook. Here comes the Rockley Brigade. Here comes low gross. Here comes second low gross. Here comes third low gross. The only guys that could shoot in the 60s, Kessler and Count and I. Mm -hmm. and, oh, everybody else started shaking. But we always got along together when we were younger. Is when that because it was a smaller community? Do you think yes, yes. Yeah, oh, it was only 50,000 back in the Mm -hmm. 50s here, now it's 190, mm -hmm. and there's no players, none, mm -hmm. not one. Where did everybody gather back then when you played golf? Which club, was it here? Here, you... yeah, right here, oh, nobody good out of Westmount. Mm -hmm. Grant Shirk won the Ontario Amateur Thornhill. It's the only tournament ever brought to Westmount from a guy that always played Westmount. Mm -hmm. Cowan won the US Amateur, but he came from here. The little 14 mm -hmm. year old kid we see, we saw here old driving us. Mm -hmm. Kessler and I look at each other, oh, boy, this guy keeps working at it, he's going to be good. What was it about Rockaway and the atmosphere here that made it so conducive to that? Like I say, you were more relaxed, and you were want, they were glad you were here. Mm -hmm. we, had a, we had a great pro, Lloyd Tucker, who loved kids, and he would help us, as long as we'd work at it. But if he told you something, and then you didn't keep working, pay $2.50 for a lesson, you had to pay. You said to me, I'd practice more, and I like to say I'm Tucker, and you didn't. No. But if you play, if you practiced, oh, well, call all you want. Did that ever happen to you where you had to pay? No, like I worked like a son of a gun. Mm -hmm. well, are you kidding? I was the hardest worker by far. It was just a nice atmosphere here at Rockland, yeah, was it? back then, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which isn't now, I can see it all. Look, mm -hmm. no kids look like here, July, look. Yeah, we were 40, 50 was running So describe a typical scene here in July in the 50s when you would show up here, or the 40 when, when we started showing up here. Oh, in the 50s it was. with more young, younger guys that wanted to get good. Mm -hmm. You could see it in us. It's in our blood. We could taste it. Today the kids, if I do, I do. If I don't, I don't. It's odd though, isn't it? Because back oh. then there wasn't any money in the game. Oh, now there's so much money in the game. But we, we just loved it. That, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. We, it was one, one happy family. We eat some, here we go. Only one or two guys had a car. Here's two, two foursomes coming in one car. Here we follow each other. Uh -huh. And we'd walk away with little girls and everything. You guys would show up here every day and play pretty yeah. much? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. What was a typical day like for you? You'd get here in the morning? What yeah, would you play 54 holes on a Saturday, 54 holes on a Sunday, play yeah. 108 holes on a weekend. Just keep running around the course. Uh -huh. Eight little jackrabbits. Way, people would always let us go through. Because they didn't want us little kids hitting balls up their ass <laughs> all the way around. They'd step aside. They go, go, you little rabbits. And there was no carts then. Go, you. Seen, so you're carrying your own clubs and just oh, running. all of us. Kess ring, all of us. Kess con, all of us guys. Why sure? Mm -hmm. Were you playing games with each other? Oh yeah, we played skins among 
I'll do it for some too. We had a little slip. Tucker would have a little slip in the, in the pro shop. Who wants to get in, in the skin game? Mm -hmm. So put your name down. And then uh, a, guy, a guy like a guy named Mo Norman wouldn't win too much, huh? No, a little, a little. <laughs> but a lot of times you make four or five birdies in a row. Didn't matter. Another guy gets a lucky chip in, mm -hmm. and he wins. <laughs> It was just an all-day affair. You just ran around oh, and around. Oh, there wasn't ever. We wanted to be here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We wanted to be here. We couldn't wait till the next morning of daylight. Out we come. Mm -hmm. The street car was right over there. I turned it's around. Put day. my two cents in, go back home, come on down Saturdays again. It was two cents. Two cents on the street car. Yeah, mm -hmm. one each way. Mm -hmm. Four cents. That's all I had. Mm -hmm. Mother gave me just enough to get down and back. She'd give you four cents that's that's a, right. just to get that's down all, the sure, yeah. That's mm -hmm. all. The other guy's in eating steaks and hamburgers. I'm sitting there. Because <laughs> you came from, a, you know, not not a real, you didn't come from what, I don't know, would you describe it as a poor background? Mm -hmm. Would it? Yeah. Six kids. Only dad working. Mm -hmm. Four of us in, within two years. Mm -hmm. Four little babies running around the house. And, oh, boy. Whew. That's a lot of dough. Where did your dad work? Just a factory. Right, just a factory. Yeah. Just a factory. That's all. Never had a car. Never went. Never left kitchen in his whole life. Your mother didn't work outside Dude. the house. It was enough raising that's the kids. A, yeah, yeah. That's right. Mm -hmm. And couldn't afford a maid or and something like that. Couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. But no, it's. Uh, did you share? Did you have your own bedroom at home? Yeah, with my brother and I. And you shared a bedroom. Yeah, mm -hmm. my two sisters. They'd be in their room. We'd be in ours. And mm -hmm. Then, then six kids. It was then it was on the Chesterfield. And, taking turns because mm -hmm. couldn't afford a bigger house mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. oh it was no oh, it was what was the first sport you ever played do you remember was it hockey hockey yeah, yeah. i guess yeah first thing they would buy you back then onto the christmas tree was a hockey stick mm -hmm. and a pair of skates no shin pads or glove because you couldn't afford it and uh but first was a pair of skates you had to have that or you weren't or you weren't happy there's all the kids over there it's Playing hockey on an outside rink, and, mm -hmm. and uh, then going down to Victoria Park at night with music, and skating on the little pond that's there right now. But they had music. You skate there at night with the older people, and kids, little kids going in between them. But uh, you a good skater? Oh yeah, oh yeah. But uh, what about what about I mean, what about sports made you feel good in those days? Well, this one did because it was a clean sport. Right. Not in the bloody pool room or down in the basement drinking beer, which I never had a drink in my life. And uh, I didn't want to be around that kind of atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Look at four walls and work all week and then... Mm -hmm. No, I wanted to be outside. Do you remember when you first even realized that golf existed, that it was a game, that you, that you found it? Yeah, it was just a game. In those days, it wasn't a sport. And uh, my own family called me sissy. And, Little baby walking on a free, uh, down a fairway trying to find, hit a golf ball and it goes in grass this high. My father used to say, trying to find a needle in the haystack. Here, hitting a golf ball. Play a man's game. Play hockey or baseball. But they never, they never encouraged me, my, my parents. They never saw me in my life to this day hit a ball. Mm -hmm. In person. Mm -hmm. Only on TV. But they never ever came out. We had the Canadian Open at Westmount, PGA at Westmount, Ontario Amateur at Westmount. They never were sitting there. Did that hurt? Sure. I should say so. There's other kids' fathers and mothers. Nice going, son. And I'm winning the tournament, son. Nobody. Just my own friends saying nice going, but not my own. Not my mother and dad. Go home and I could bump their heads together for fun and throw a beer in their face or something, the old man. No, because they were just... <laughs> he called me sissy. Why do you think that was? I don't, that's all he understood. Mm -hmm. He didn't go, he only went to what grades, just like me, grade nine in school. And he didn't, that's all he knew. Mm -hmm. But he played hockey too when he was younger. Play a man's game, he'd say. Play football, play baseball, play hockey. Mm -hmm. Because there, there was money then in that, but not in golf. Mm -hmm. Now look, I wish he was living today. Oh, your son's the best ball striker that's ever lived in the whole world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'd like to hear, I'd go like this now. What's the phone number? Yeah. <laughs> Four 
Norman Wood. Norman is the Boer Wood. Probably. Thank you.